guys, Heather from Lead the Way Canine. Uh, I have Poppy here, and we're gonna show you another way that you can teach your dog how to drop things and give things up on command when you request. So I have a couple of rope toys, and we're gonna see if Poppy will play tug with us. Tug of War is a great game to burn some energy from your dog, and it's also a really great training tool. There's a lot of uh, things that you can teach them in the tug game. What do you think, Poppy? You wanna try? <laughs> Alright, so she likes this one. Good girl. So I want to be as exciting and interesting when I'm playing this game with her so that I'm more interesting than her just taking the rope away and chewing on it by herself. Good girl. So I'll let her pull me a little bit. Good girl. Kind of rile her up. Pat on her. Yeah. I don't mind if she's doing these little growls because she's just excited and she's playing and that's totally normal. Good girl. So once she gets really into it, I'm gonna stop playing with her, hold the toy still, and tell her to drop it. And I'll show you that in a second. Good girl. Drop. Yes. Good girl. Good. So as soon as she finally decides to drop that toy, I'm gonna re-engage and start the game over again. So you need to do a little bit of work in the beginning for them to want the game to start again. It's gonna be exciting and fun. Good girl. Oh, you're so tough. You're so tough, look at you. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Drop. Yes, get it. Good girl. So basically I'm making the toy go from being really lively and fun to still and dead, right? So it's easier for her to let it go that way. And I'm just gonna be patient and hold it still until she decides to let go. And that will get faster and faster every time we do it. Good job, good job. Drop, yes, good girl, good. Oh my goodness, you're so good at this, Bobby. So I'm really quick to throw that toy back, almost putting it right in her mouth as soon as she lets go so that she learns the quicker she listens to my drop command, the sooner the game starts again and the fun can start. Good girl. Good job. Drop. Yeah, get it. And you see she brings it back because it's way more fun when I'm playing with her than if she just has the toy by herself. And that's what you want. That's how you know you're doing a good job if she brings the toy back and wants to play with you. Get it. And it's okay for her to win and get the toy off by herself for a second every once in a while. Doesn't mean that she's going to be aggressive or dominant because I'm still dictating and um, making the rules for this game right now. I'm in charge. So actually a really great way to build your relationship and teach the dogs how to have that off switch go from really exciting play oh, so exciting to being calm and listening poppy drop sit yes good girl and then you can start throwing some obedience in ask her to sit ask her to down kind of settle back down Bring that energy a little bit lower. Good girl. I'll do it one more time. You wanna keep your sessions short and really fun in the beginning and then you can extend them and build up some duration. But you wanna quit while they're still interested and um, quit before they wanna quit. Good job, you're so good. Way to go girl. So strong. Poppy drop. Yay! Good girl. All right, guys, have a great day.